I think my fascination with the ocean started when I was 10 years old and I met a leopard shark for the first time in the San Francisco Bay. And that's when I learned sharks are not that scary, you just gotta respect their space and my life has been forever changed. I think it's amazing that as part of this internship I get to draw things that don't have many illustrations of them. I get to give love to all the animals that are kind of underrated, honestly, that the world doesn't quite know about yet, and I get to help tell their stories. For this crab project, I will be drawing the different mouth parts of a Japanese spider crab. They actually have really interesting in anatomy that they use to just eat things, and it's like a puzzle where every like gears and like it's like gears on a clock where everything fits together in a specific way, and they all function to help a crab eat, which is really cool. There's not much research done on Japanese spider crabs, specifically how to care for them in an aquatic setting. They need this diagram to better understand how to care for these animals. There's not many diagrams of where their esophagus is internally, like we don't all have x-ray vision, we can't look inside of a crab, so having a diagram of how their mouth parts move and how they are in relation to each other will help with caring for our Japanese spider crabs. Now, the great part from drawing from life is that a camera will always alter in little ways that you don't expect, and so therefore drawing from life allows me to capture the color in real time and make it more accurate than if I just used a camera as my only tool. I just want my art to take people on field trips to show them things they've never seen at scale that are so hard to fathom, from like the tiniest red blood cell to the largest whale shark, and show them the world that's around them so that they feel inspired to love the ocean.